Minnesota churchgoers who lost their place of worship to arson are now seeing the destruction themselves. The once vibrant inside of the Church of St. Mary in Melrose is now a burned out shell. Investigators think that someone intentionally started the fire back in March. Parishioners couldn't see inside until this week. Kate Raddatz shows us what it will take to reopen the church that has been a part of the community for generations. As the rain poured down on the Church of St. Mary, inside, scorched walls and broken lights remain where a golden altar once stood. I just, wow, I <laughs> just, it's, it's gone. Parishioners and even non-members came to Melrose from out of town to see the damage to the 118-year-old structure. Church officials opened up the doors to the public to the Catholic Church on Monday. I grew up, I wasn't went to church here all the time. Joanne Garrods was married here in 1967. It makes me feel really mad at the person who did this because it's not, not right. How can you burn a church? Last month, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives determined the cause of the fire was arson. An investigation is still underway for the people responsible. You really need the community to step forward and, and hopefully the people that do know something out there uh, pass it on. With $5 million worth of damage, including water damage and broken windows, church officials plan to rebuild starting this fall, bringing life back to more than a church, but a cornerstone of this small town. Probably half of our members, uh, the firefighters, are members of that church. The altar was so beautiful. I'm just devastated when you think about it. Authorities are offering a $7,500 reward for information that leads to an arrest.